So I'm here in front of the railroad bridge on my road. I'm here because, you know, it's just a beautiful place to be. I'm wearing my one and only coonskin cap. I'm ready to go down and check out if there's any new graffiti under there. Here I am, down at the bridge. I'm not down there yet, but I'm going to go down there soon. I haven't seen the train yet. But I intend to see at least one train. I think that would be great. Here's some scenery. You know, it's been a really mild December. I'm really loving it so far. Okay, so I'm making my way down. I gotta use both hands because I have cerebral palsy. And I have bad balance. I'm getting a really bad wedgie right now. Quite uncomfortable. Okay, I think I've made it the hard stuff. If you don't remember all the videos I've made down here, I've made quite a few. I'll kind of show you around. I think the train's getting ready to pass, so I'll get that. Now that's a car. But I can definitely hear a train in the distance. So a lot of graffiti. Ohio, New York. That's what's painted down there. I mention that every time. Big heart. I think some of this graffiti is new. Not all of it. It's pretty steep. I've gone all the way down there. I've done some walking along those tracks. But yeah, this is one of my favorite places to come. Yeah, I'm going to do some echoes. Hello! Wasn't that great. The last time I came here it was... Um, I think the end of September. It's definitely a lot warmer than it is now, but since it's so mild, it's really not that bad. It's a train. Here it comes. The caboose. Man, that was so loud. Listen to the tracks, you can still hear it. So I'm down here on the tracks. This is the exact trail I saw the train on. I'd love to put my GoPro down on the tracks and have a train go over it and do a little time lapse. I just don't want to ruin my GoPro because you never know. My dad used to tell me that he knew this guy, which I don't know if I believe him, but I knew this guy who got his feet caught in the railroad tracks and uh, he laid down on the tracks and he survived because he laid down and a train went over him, but uh, he was able to survive because he was low enough to the ground to where the train couldn't hit him so he survived and it's a good thing I don't smell very well because right over there is a dead skunk skunk I was telling you about I don't know how it got down here it must have got hit by the train I found a better way to go up I parked over on that other side but uh, I think I'm gonna go up over there because it looks a little easier than this side than that side, which is the side I came up on. I'm gonna get off the tracks because I've been on here for about 10 minutes now and you never know a train might come. So here's something you don't see every day. One of these uh, railroad spikes. They're huge, almost as big as my forehead. You drill these in over there you can see how they uh, keep it training with thousands of these drilled in. This will definitely keep a train on the tracks without having that rail come up. Hey look, another train coming the other direction. I'm definitely glad I got down. I wouldn't want to even 
be on that other track right now with that train. But uh, check out how close that comes to that, uh, to that bridge right there. Well, there's a caboose. Did you notice on both of those cabooses? Something I've never noticed. There's a blinking red light. All right, so I parked my bike up there on the road. Head off now, it's getting dark and I don't want to ride when it's too dark. Although my road's not that busy and I would be fine. So I'm gonna make my way back. Thanks for watching.